Hello, we're down at Swanwick Marina doing a feature on Fairline and two of their owners, one who keeps their boat in the Med and one who keeps it in the UK. The boat in question is the Fairline Targa 50 and as you may be able to tell because of my fleece, we're on the UK leg. So let's jump on board and talk to Mark and Alison, the owners of this Targa 50 Madness. Okay, so this is Mark and Alison Clare, the owners of Madness and they've kindly invited us on board today. Um, thanks for your time, guys. So first, let's just find out how you got to this point, how you got to owning Madness and, and a Targa 50. Well, we started off with a small boat, a 250 uh, SLX, Sea Ray 250 SLX down in Marbella. Uh, we had that for uh, two or three years and then we wanted something bigger. Um, we then came back here and we did a deal on a Targa 44 open, uh, which was our first big boat, to be honest. And within a year, we decided we wanted something even bigger. And so we, uh, we moved to the Targa 50 and we're delighted with it. And Alison, I understand it was you who saw this boat at the show and then there was one tied up next to you just down the river and you had a look around and that was what kind of sealed the deal. Absolutely. I think the uh, difference in size inside was just, it almost doubled the living capacity. And that was what I love so much more. Um, it's just brilliantly designed. Absolutely. And you've had the boat since June. Yes. And whereabouts have you been on it in that time? We've really only been around the Solent, but we've been to Bewley, Livington, uh, across to Cowes, and uh, just really going out for the day, staying overnight and then coming back. But it's just, just a, such a beautiful area. So let's start with a bit of a tour of the boat then, and uh, beginning the cockpit. It is obviously a very different design to what you're used to on the, on the 44. Um, is it a space that you found yourselves using a lot, and what are the things you like and maybe the things you change about the area? Yeah, I mean, it's nice having outside space that's completely separate from the main cabin. Um, you know, if the weather's good as it is today, then it's great to sit out here and you have a glass of wine or have something to eat. It'd be nice if there was a little more seating area, because obviously there's no backrest there. But we have a couple of captain's chairs that we put out, which actually makes it work really well then. OK, so we're in the saloon now, the heart of the boat, and an area that I understand is one of the bits that made you fall in love with the boat. Um, can you just explain what it is that you like so much about it? I mean, the main thing is it's so light and airy, and it's just a nice place to be. Um, you've got everything on hand, you can watch the TV, you can cook, um, and it's just a nice big open space. And of course it's all sealed, so you know if it's cold outside, you can warm this space up and it's just a nice place to be. I think I like the very sleek lines, it's a very modern um, style, it feels like an apartment. I prefer having the ability to make teas and coffees etc upstairs rather than going downstairs as we did on our previous boat. Um, and it just works very well. You feel you're in a decent sized space and it's very comfortable. And in terms of driving, very different to the Tiger 44, um, but you found that absolutely okay and you, you enjoy, enjoy driving the boat even though maybe you're not that in, as in touch with the elements as you were? Yes, I mean, it is it is easy to control. I mean, the shaft drives, I think, help. Um, I mean, it's all about practice, of course. We've got bow thrusters and stern thrusters on this, so that makes it easier. Um, and, and I think, you know, my confidence levels have gone up as a result of having a boat that's easier to handle. When you're out at sea, of course, it's also a bigger boat. So you feel much, you know, when it is choppy, actually this seems to cope with that so much better. Mm. And Alison, I understand you're doing quite a lot of the crewing. How have you found that change? It's a bigger boat. Yeah. Has that made it more difficult? Or actually, because the size is it a little bit easier, yeah. maybe, to get around the boat? Um, oh, it's, it's much easier. It's much easier to get down either side of the boat, so I feel safer from that point of view. Um, yeah, I think it, it is easier. I think the big jump for us was going from the smaller boat to the last one. And this, although it's five foot longer, it has been much easier, that transition. Um, so yeah, I, f I think it's safer. We've got a bigger platform off the back as well. And there's more places to hold on to. Um, and even just where you tie the ropes up, they're better um, positioned and, and just easier all round manoeuvrability, definitely. So we're down the forward cabin now, which is one of the big parts of the Targa 50, the fact that Fairline have not gone for a midships cabin, they've gone for this huge forward cabin in maybe the more traditional sense. And it's a great space, isn't it? I understand that you guys really, really like it. Yes, absolutely. It was so much bigger than the last cabin we had. Um, there's plenty of space to move around, proper five foot bed, um, loads of cupboard space, even got a dressing table, lots of mirrors. Um, there's a TV, space for a TV, which we haven't got, and there's even a safe down the bottom. So it just works very, very well. 
And the bathrooms on this boat, much larger than the 44, um, they impressed you, I think, didn't they? Oh, very much so. I mean, you know, having a shower in the, in the, in the cubicle there is, is, is actually quite pleasant. There's plenty of space, and obviously you've got a separate uh, bathroom for the guests as well. So it really works well. OK, let's go and have a look at the other two guest cabins. So in one of the two guest cabins now, this is the starboard one, uh, both have berths that convert from uh, twins to double, the ones in this cabin slide and there's an infill next door. But there's something in this cabin that's particularly special, uh, which is your doing, isn't there Alison? Would you care to show us what that is? Yes, when we spore this cabin and the twin next door, fabulous wardrobe space but there was no storage space as such so we actually asked Fairline to develop something for us and they've built in shelving which is just lovely um, and has worked really really well. And before that was just one huge hanging locker? It was just one huge hanging locker and you know you need somewhere to put jumpers and bits and bobs. So that's the tour of the boat. Um, let's talk a bit about what you plan to do next obviously with the season's drawing to a close now what are your big plans for for next season i think we'd like to go across to the channel islands uh, i think you know we, we want to venture a bit further and then in the longer term we might you know we might put it down in the med for a while i think uh, you know it'd be great to get sort of constant sunshine but um i mean we're very very pleased with the boat it's great and you were saying that having it in the uk you really want to get used to it here and, and you know get to know the boat well before you move it anywhere else yes i think it's getting uh, getting used to it um getting our confidence and just actually boating um it would be nice to go beyond the edges of the solent because that's <laughs> our perimeter so far um but yeah at some stage it will go out to the med i think but because it's got so much space we can use it all year round which makes it a very versatile boat as far as we're concerned fantastic thanks a lot for your time today guys